What's up guys, it's Celeste, and it's really early right now, it's not even 6 a.m. yet. But I've been thinking lately about trying to get uh, some more protein in my diet, especially now that I'm trying to build up my muscle mass and everything like that. Um, so I thought I would try some protein smoothies and or like protein drinks, shakes, whatever you want to call them. Um, and so I got some things from Vega, which is a company that makes plant-based protein powders. And I got a four pack here. And then I also got this pack, which is specifically a sport one. It's like really high protein. So I thought I would just like open this box here and uh, just sort of check it out. Probably should have gotten an actual box cutter or something, but that works. So let's see here. Okay, so we've got this bar, which is chocolate peanut butter, a chocolate shake, mixed berry, and French vanilla. And then the um, sport one I got is uh, vanilla. I would have gotten chocolate except I got all these on Amazon and um, they only had a couple of different flavors in the like single packet things which is why I ended up getting this full pack even though I really kind of just wanted to try chocolate or something but they didn't have chocolate in the small pack of either of these. Um, they didn't even have vanilla in this one. They only had natural and I really wanted to get a flavored one just, you know, the first time I'm trying this, I don't want to, I, I want to kind of mask the protein shake part of it. But um, these three each have 20 grams of protein and this one has 30 grams of protein. So that's a lot of protein to have in one, uh, one meal. I actually did try um, a shake mix like this before a few years ago. It might have been Vega. I can't remember 100%, but it could have been. Um, but it was like way too much for me um, to drink the entire shake. It was super, super filling. I was like not hungry the whole rest of the day, which for me is very unusual. I get usually get hungry every couple of hours. So um, I think I remember kind of feeling like almost sick from it just because it was so filling. So this time I'm not gonna be making the entire thing at once. I'm gonna be trying to split it up. So one of these packets is supposed to be mixed with one and a half cups of liquid, which um, they recommend water, which I'm not gonna be doing, or non-dairy beverage. So I think I'm gonna be using almond milk for this. So I guess I'll try to do like three quarters of a cup and see how that goes. That should be probably a decent amount. I mean, I do want to have like enough to see if I feel any effects from this, but I, like I said, I don't want to overdo it because if I, I mean, if I get that full, I'm not even going to want to work out. So for these, the first time I'm just going to try it with mixing it with almond milk or something, but I, I am going to try to make an actual smoothie at some point. I just don't want to go to the trouble of making like a whole smoothie and everything if I'm like, and then end up not even liking the flavor at all. Jason isn't up yet, so I can't uh, blend stuff really anyway, like do anything really that loud other than just like shaking stuff. So um, that's another reason why I'm going to be doing this. So what I read is that for protein shakes, you can either drink them before or after your workout. And it is supposed to be mostly better if you do it before your workout but this one specifically says to do it after your workout. So I don't know, I'm gonna be saving this one, I think, and maybe like working up to it or something. I think I'll probably try the chocolate one first because that seems like the most likely one that I'll like because I really like chocolate. So I'm gonna try that one and we will see how it goes. Also, I'm really sorry that I'm like really low energy right now. Like I said, it's really early and I just, I've only been up for like less than an hour. So, um, yeah. So 
I was actually just going to use the measuring cup for measuring and then actually mix everything in the green sport bottle, but I kind of forgot while I was doing that, so oh well. Okay, so here it is. I'm a little nervous about whether this is going to taste good or not, but we're about to find out. It smells a little bit weird, honestly, but all right. It was better than I thought it would be. It's got kind of a weird sweet taste, which I think is maybe stevia. I don't know if it's good or not. I'm, I'm sort of on the fence about it right now. It definitely has a decent chocolate taste to it. But there's like some other tastes too. I'm not really sure whether, I don't know. It's a little hard to describe. It seems like the kind of thing that either the more you drink it, like the more you'll get used to it and like it, or like the more awful it will taste. So I don't know, like it, it kind of tastes good, but it has just kind of like a weird flavor at the same time. Almost done here. I'm definitely glad I made like half the amount because I don't think I could drink a whole one of these at once. At least not right now. It's a little bit much. Okay. I'm gonna wait a few minutes before I work out just so that I can start to digest this and everything. Um, and I will come back later to report on how I felt after working out and after like just having this in my system for a while. So it's been a couple hours now since I drank the shake and I didn't really notice much of a difference with my workout. I don't know if that was very likely to happen just from like just drinking it right before or not, but um, hopefully it will help my like muscle recovery and everything uh, now after I've worked out. Um, I don't work out like super hard or anything. It's not like I'm doing like really serious workout stuff. Um, I usually work out for like 20 to 30 minutes depending on the day. I do a workout program that changes every day. So it just depends how long it is each day that I do it. But as far as how I feel right now, it's kind of weird. Like I kind of feel full. Like I feel like there's something in my stomach like that I'm like, like kind of like a slightly heavy feeling like I'm full. But I also kind of feel hungry because I didn't actually eat anything. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know whether I'm hungry or not. I also forgot to mention when I was drinking the shake that it was very smooth. Um, I had read a couple of reviews that people said it was like gritty tasting. And I don't know if they just like, just stirred it with a spoon or what, but like all I did, I mean, you saw me do it. All I did was just shake it in the um, like cup thing that I have um, and it, like it was very smooth. I mean, I, I really didn't taste or feel any kind of grittiness or uh, anything that wasn't mixed in very well. I'm still not really sure how I feel about the taste of it. It was kind of weird. Like I kind of, I didn't like hate it. And I have a really strong gag reflex. So if I really don't like something, then it would be very difficult for me to actually like eat or drink the whole thing. Um, so, I mean, I was able to drink it, so it wasn't like awful, but it was kind of weird. It was kind of like on the borderline, I think, where I couldn't really, I didn't really enjoy it, but it also wasn't just like totally neutral. It was like, I don't know, it was, it's hard to describe. Like I kind of liked it, but I kind of didn't like it. So I don't know, I, I guess I'll have to try it a couple more times and like the different flavors and stuff to see if I like it any better. I don't know 100% if this is actually gonna work for me to like drink one of these every day or anything like that, but 
um, it would be good if I could get more into like smoothies and stuff because I know a lot of people who drink smoothies every day that have like all kinds of like super healthy stuff in them like they put like kale and like I don't know all this stuff in them I think this might actually have had uh, maybe kale or something it had greens of some kind so um, it seemed like it was a pretty decent combination of like different types of nutrients and everything like that other than just protein. So yeah, I guess that's about it. I don't know how interesting this video actually was for anybody, but if you're curious about these particular shakes, especially the chocolate flavor, then hopefully this was helpful to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my future content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.